Hey, Dr. Brian Thorberg, board certified pediatrician, father of eight. And today I'm going to discuss the nutritional differences between children and teens. There's a big difference that happens there. Pretty much kids under uh, the age of puberty all have the similar uh, metabolic and nutritional needs because they're growing pretty similarly and they have um, pretty much the same growth uh, trajectories if you look at them in the growth curves but then once they hit puberty some obvious differences happen and we're different besides just the plumbing and for boys we tend to need uh, greater calories and greater protein needs because we have more muscle so there's a greater need for proteins and for girls there is a greater need for iron uh, because once menses start then we need to replace the iron that hap that is lost uh, when they have their menses additionally boys need uh, zinc to help them mature into uh, their uh, sexual potential, uh, which is also a difference that the girls don't need as much zinc. So overall, uh, boys and girls do differ once they hit to puberty. But before that, they're fairly similar. And what we want to focus on for girls is iron, adequate protein, adequate calories, and the same for boys. We want to have adequate calories. There's an increased need for protein because of the size of uh, the muscles. And additionally, they need zinc to help them sexually mature. So make sure you're giving your kids those vitamins. Uh, you know, we know that uh, more than 50% of Americans, and this isn't just teens, but this is just Americans in general, are nutritionally deficient because the food supply is pretty much... Uh, been robbed of the nutrition because the soil is not used properly. So hit that like button. I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.